I'm Spencer Hack. I'm a principal dancer with the National Ballet of Canada, and I'm dancing the role of Mercutio in Romeo and Juliet. Mercutio's style of fighting is very bold. He is trying to push the buttons of his opponent, Tybalt, and then that unfolds into some really dynamic, quick sword fighting. I am Feng Fei Jiang. I'll be dancing the role Tybalt. To become Tybalt, I had to learn the choreography first and then add the sword skill that Joe taught me. Yes, exactly. It does look better if it's not too high. May I? Here, well, I can buy that, but up here, no. You are going so fast. Making it authentic, you have to first make sure it's safe but then uh, through rehearsal, they're able to bring a little bit more intention to the fight. You're able to see the story through the sword. Okay, gentlemen, let's really take the time to get the stage technique for fighting. That was so good, how, how realistic it looked. It needs that dynamic to have the bite of a fight, okay? It can be a little bit scary when you're wielding around a sword in the middle of intense dancing. I would say it's about eye contact. We're looking each other into the eyes, so it's all about the, the trust. What you may need to do is cross your own arm further over. The tip of the sword coming around, the tip of the sword coming around. Yes, that's better. We try to make everything look real on stage. Once we get used to the sword in the choreography, we can take the fight to the next level. The dynamic of a sword fight feels very similar to a duet or a pas de deux. You are telling a story with someone else. It takes both of you to make a complete picture. I think after a few practice, I've already like get used to the sword. So I'm not thinking about the choreography so much, but I'm thinking about the, the personality of the character. It's much more important during the fight. I feel like I have to have two brains. There's the sword fighting brain and then the dancing brain, and hopefully they come together, but it takes a lot of time to get there, and a lot of practice, and a lot of repetition. And then hopefully by the time the curtain goes up, you feel free to just be in the moment.